A, a very warm welcome to our parents that have joined us online. Um, we hope that you enjoy the evening with us. I'm Anne Louise and I'll be your host. Just a couple of house rules before I give over to our panelists um, that are before you. On your screen, you have a Q&A and a chat box. You're welcome to ask your questions within those boxes at any point during the session. And I will gladly ask those for you. We do encourage you to ask as many questions to keep it interactive and informa um, the information as rich as possible. And now without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Mrs. Lynn Buertes, our principal. Thank you. Thank you very much and good evening to all our virtual open day parents. Wonderful having you here with us at Alma Mater, although you might be a little bit far away from us. Um, I've got the pleasure this evening to actually hand over to a very experienced set of uh, panelists here this evening. And then afterwards, obviously, the uh, questions and answers will all assist. But before I start and before I introduce, introduce each one of them, I would just like to say that um, Alma Mater is a school currently this year 22 years old, and we are a fully Cambridge school starting from as early as grade R, um, right through to grade 12 or your A's and A levels. And we really only do the Cambridge curriculum. That is the most important. So I'm gonna hand over and I would just, first of all, like to introduce there from the left on the screen, I think for you as parents, our head boy this year, H, our head girl, Kanisile. We've got Niasha here. And I'll say nothing more, but you can listen when she speaks a little bit later. Then we've got um, a few of our subject coordinators or our subject or grade heads at school. So we've got teacher Lindy, which will this evening focus a little bit on science and mathematics. Teacher Rena, she's our HOD in the, in the senior primary phase. And after she's explained to you what her role really in the school is, you'll also understand that. Then we've got teacher Sandra, which focuses mainly on all the languages in the school. Teacher Elmery, um, she is at the moment our grade two head, subject or class grade head, and she's here this evening to assist and help you regarding anything on the junior primary phase. And then out of our sports department, our um, teacher here right next to me, teacher Zelda, regarding sport. So H, I'm gonna hand over to you and then we'll just follow as it goes by. Or are you first H? Yes, thank you. Great, thank you. Good evening, my name is H, I'm the head boy of 2022. I'd like to welcome all our parents to our virtual lesson today. This year I've been at the school 12 years and I definitely consider Alma Mater my second home, where I feel safe and relaxed, where, where we work hard and learn lots of stuff in class, play hard on the sports fields and play at break, and enjoy time with, uh, with all our friends. I love playing rugby in the winter time and swimming during the summer season for the school. And we always strive to do our best and be proud with, no matter we won or lost. I know I have made my lifelong friends at Alma Mater. We help and support each other, other in, in and out of school. We have our, f our favorite, we have our wonderful teachers and staff and our wonderful uh, pr principal. How much, how, to make how much coming to school is fun and, and how much she makes it fun from all the staff. Off to Connie. Goeie naand, dames en jere. Dit is my plezier om jelle by Alma Mater Internationale Open Dag te verwelkom. Dit is a plezier om jou by ons te hee. Ek verwelkom al die vooraanstaander spekers, ouwers, onderwijsers en natuurlijk ons prachtige hoof. My naam is Kanye Siles Wane, die hoof Die hoof meisie van die primaire fase. Ek is al in middie school vir 7 jare vanaf die eerste graad. En nou is ek gereed om te fraseer. Wat duidelijk beteken, ek is een product van al my mater. Soos ons allemaal weet, is onderwijs die basis van een samenleving en nasie. 
Und Squall ist ein von den besten Squillen, was die Qualitätsaufführung verschafft. Ein Sterne produziert für die Stabilität und für die Spitz von den Nasen. Nyasha, vertell uns ein bisschen. Bonjour, je m'appelle Nyasha. Je suis juste de m'année. Elle m'a mata, elle la chance de prendre la France. Elle classe nous apprenons, communiquer, opposer, discussion et regarder la suite entre agir. La France nous permet de pouvoir communiquer du pays francophone. For all the non-French speakers, hello, my name is Nyasha. I'm a grade 7 leader here at Alma Mater. At Alma Mater, they give us a chance to learn a more diverse language named French. In French, we learn how to communicate, ask questions, and most importantly, look at life at a different point of view. Unfortunately, in French, it does not include French fries or French toast. Merci and au revoir. At Alma Mater, we really value our students. Their well-being is of the uh, uh, utmost importance to us. Not only are we well known for our excellent Cambridge program, and you will hear about the subjects in a few minutes, but we've also added global perspectives, life orientation, reading, music, ICT, and Bible to our curriculum. Our global perspectives have a worldwide outlook where our students are taught to become respectable and responsible global citizens. We probe into many problematic, problematic areas like poverty, global branding, and any other topics, and we seek to find solutions to the world's problems. And you know, teenagers, they have answers to every problem. Our ICT curriculum is part of the well-known Knowledge Network curriculum, and our students excel with their excellent ICT skills. They've also completed their second year of programming. We are a Christian school and have Bible as religious instruction, music and life orientation are also being taught from grade four to six. In the afternoons, we have different activities for our students, usually on Mondays and Wednesdays. These are cultural afternoons. In the senior phase, we have journalism, debate, chess, co-working and lead club. On Tuesdays, we have all the sports that other schools present, and our students are excellent athletes as well. The emotional well-being of our students is also very vital to us. Happy students thrive and work much, much harder. We do have good discipline in our school, uh, and I do know one of the concerns that parents might have is bullying. I'm sorry to tell you, parents, bullying does happen even in alma mater. We are definitely doing life, and yet it does happen. I would, like to, um, I would like to say it has never happened, but I think the difference between our school and other schools are that we pick up problems very quickly and we support the child that is being bullied as well as the bully. We have an open door policy where students can come and voice their concerns. We have an excellent psychologist and if need be, after consultation with the parents as well as the students, we do sometimes recommend that they do seek help from him. Something else to add to the wonderful life of, the, of our students is our wonderful canteen that we have, as well as the tuck shop at the canteen they have nutritious meals. And then just lastly, I would like to just remind you that our primary school students do write a Cambridge examination at the end of grade six and seven every year. Thank you, Lindy. All right, I'm going to give you a little bit more information about mathematics and science. Cambridge Mathematics helps learners become confident and successful mathematicians through a fun and engaging curriculum. The aim is to de develop their mathematical ability as a key life skill. The curriculum is presented in the following four content areas. Numbers, algebra, geometry and measures, statistics and probability. What sets our curriculum apart is the fact that it encourages our learners to be independent thinkers that can tackle a wide range of mathematical problems. Our Cambridge Primary Science curriculum is taught holistically as it includes the different scientific disciplines such as biology, chemistry, earth and space, thinking and working scientifically. Learners will think scientifically 
and develop practical skills alongside knowledge and understanding, which is vital for understanding and explaining the world around us. It also encourages learners to develop a lifelong curiosity about the natural world around them and enables them to seek scientific explanations. Improving learners' awareness of science in the world around us develops their sense of science is for me and helps them to connect themselves to the subject. Thank you. Over to Sandra. Good afternoon. I'd like to introduce you to the, um, our language department. Our department consists of English as a first language, Afrikaans first language, which is a home language, or Afrikaans as an additional second language. Then we also have a French, as you heard, um, as a foreign language. In our language department, our aim is for our students to communicate effectively and with confidence. They develop skills to use information, media, and different texts with understanding and confidence. The main aim in English is to, be, to develop competence in English as a first language. The Cambridge curriculum has been designed to be successful in any culture and to promote cross-culture understanding and communication. Reading is extremely important in alma mater. We believe a student must read to learn. Reading and comprehension is extremely important for the development of skills in all subjects. And because reading is so important, we have a dis uh, designated digital literacy reading program that our students are registered on iBrain Gym, where their cognitive skills are developed and tested. The grade four to sevens students are also registered on read theory. Afrikaans, we are extremely fortunate to have amazing staff who teaches Afrikaans. Not only are they excellent teachers, but they are also, now oh, I need to go to the next page. <laughs> oh, this is what happens. Oh, goodness. Sorry. <laughs> oh, goodness. They also make the subject a lot of fun, and by doing so, our students love and enjoy Afrikaans whilst learning um, amazing amounts of information. The Afrikaans' is home language curriculum that is followed develop, uh, develops comprehensions, oral, reading, writing, and communication skills of students. Once again, emphasis is placed on the importance of reading to develop vocabulary and comprehension skills. Afrikaans as an additional language concentrates on the development of a student's vocabulary, their confidence during oral communication, as well as reading and comprehension skills. French is taught as a foreign language. Grade fours have French once a week. They take vernacular French, which consists of learning French vocabulary, greeting in French, phrases, etc. They do, however, not write formal examinations or tests during their grade four year. Students may choose between taking Afrikaans or French at the start of grade five. It is, however, important to realize that this choice must be made carefully. Our mission is to develop confident, responsible students who are respectful to others. We aim for students to be reflective when working by developing their own ability to learn, by teaching them to be innovative, to equip themselves for the future challenges that they might have. Our students are developed to be engaged both intellectually as well as socially. Thus, they are ready to make a difference. They rely less on adult involvement and explore new ways of learning. Thank you. Teacher Almeri. Thank you. Everybody's so formal. <laughs> <laughs> well, at our junior phase, we prepare our students for life by helping them develop an informed curiosity and a lasting passion for learning. 
I would like to take you um, through a day in the eyes or a, a day of a, a grade one, two, or three student. So in the mornings earlier, the dad or the mommy will leave them in the parking lot or the parking area and they will come to school and they will play with their friends. At 7.45, we will start our day. Usually what we do is, because it's very informal, we um, come together on our carpet, we greet, we pray, sometimes we do a bit of uh, praise and worship, depends on how your day goes and what happens in the class. Uh, then we start our, with our subjects. Usually the junior primary phase, we have handwriting as a subject and that is crucial for them to learn how to write correctly. We, do, we, we already teach them how to join letters in uh, grade two uh, to prepare them for cursive writing. And then after that, we usually go on to mathematical skills, which will be practical mostly. And then um, during the week, we will maybe try and let them work in the, in the books as much as possible. But we start off very practical. Uh, what we find is crucial is mental maths daily. So we like to start our day with that as well before we start with any uh, learning of any mathematical skills. And after that, of course, um, we love them to engage as much as possible in any lesson. So it's much more, more talking. It feels like it's a house with, you know, with, uh, it's like their home from away from their home. After that, we, will, uh, we have subjects like English. We have English first language. Uh, which we teach, and our main focus there is to expand our vocabulary. Our kids read very well. They are very well informed. Uh, we have science, um, where they have to prepare quite a lot of um, speeches for us. They do it all by themselves, uh, and they do their uh, research by themselves, and then they prepare the speech, and they come and um, present it to their teacher in class. And then after... Uh, of course, we have Afrikaans as a second language where we teach the basic vocabulary so that the students are able to do reading, some reading, even write uh, short sentences, and they sometimes communicate by singing <laughs> or saying some rhymes. They love to do that. Uh, we also have global perspectives, which is also part of our curriculum, which is uh, a transformational program to help students at every stage develop outstanding transferable skills such as critical thinking, research, and collaboration. Um, and we also encourage our students to do their own research, research and express their opinions and, and various aspects. Uh, other subjects we provide is like music, art, um, computer skills. We have and, and physical education, of course. And then we have on-screen reading or online reading as well. Um, so I, our aim is following the Cambridge Primary Programme that helps the learners to lay the foundations of lifelong learning, including curiosity, curiosity about the world around them and enthusiasm for learning, knowledge, understanding and skills that can be applied in across subjects. Um, effective and confident communication skills, including in English, you know, understanding of their personal and local context, as well as having global awareness. Uh, then, of course, when you take it, when they, they have two breaks, uh, which is very important, especially for a little child when they have a birthday, so to, you know, you have to be like their second mom, and they they need that time, and we try to incorporate incorporate that during the day with them. Uh, after break, of course, they come back, the second break. Then we have afternoon activities, which starts at quarter past one, and um, various activities twice a week. They have sports, and after that, they have either um, learning support class, which is a homework class, or twice a week, it's more cultural, uh, which could be dance, stretching, and relaxing. They also need that, because it's very stressful to be a junior. <laughs> and there is story times and rhyme. Um, chess is a very big part of our curriculum as well. So we try and do the whole or develop them as a whole as far as we can. Thank you.
Now to the fun, I mean, sport department. Uh, my name is Valda. I'm the head of the sport department. And like some of the children don't know, I'm a teacher or coach. So some of them will call me teacher coach Valda. And um, this is where the fun begins. We do physical ed uh, education. And each grade has a period per week where we holistically develop your child to serve the body and the mind together. We talk the first time that your child actually learns is when your child moves. And that is very important. So the juniors will tell us where they have a, um, a lack of writing or struggling with reading. And then we will work then with their bodies and their minds together. Our coaches also get in the swimming pool with our children when we do swimming during physical ed um, education. Uh, not always very nice, but we do enjoy it. Uh, what we struggle with at the moment is what we see right through from grade R to matric is the lack of abdominals. So if you have a child at home, please start to sit up so long because that's what we are concentrating <laughs> at the moment. Because of the junior teacher tell me my children are sitting up straight, that is where we start. So physical education is very, very important to us and um, we need to develop the child there. Then with our sport in the afternoons, we have sport with our juniors and with our seniors. We do sport in a three-term calendar. So we start with athletics and swimming during the first term and the same in term three, which will also be your swimming and your athletics. We do athletics in the first term with our government schools. So your children do have the opportunity to go to the Gauteng Championships as well as SA. Um, international, the, the national championships, which we ha do have athletes that has competed there before, so they really do well. The swimming in the first term is with SACSA, so our, we are affiliated with a Christian school association, and that is what happens with the swimming, and then it just swaps in the third term. Then we do have our winter sports, we have our netball and then rugby. Unfortunately, we do not have hockey because it falls in smack bang in our middle August holiday where the government takes part in their hockey league. You can, however, take part in a club and we can send you to trial so you will not lose out on any opportunities. The same with the government school netball. We are in the D13 leagues, which means it's a private school league, but it is incorporated into the government leagues, and they also have their trials, which will also be part of the housing team. Um, when you move to high school, we also have basketball, and then a big other one is the soccer for the boys. They take part in the government school league as well as the Saxa league, and our Rafi takes part uh, in the Warrior League, which is a private school league, and a Saxa private school league. They play seven, so it's a big tournament which they take part in on Saturdays, and they also did very well. Our high school also won that tournament this year, and our one surges came third. So we are very proud of them, they're doing great. So holistically, we need to develop your child doing sport and doing physical education. You may, Teacher Lila. Uh, at our school, we believe all um, work and I play makes children dull. So at our school, We've brought in some fun for our children. We've got different camps for them. Grade four and five can have a principal sleepover. They're gonna camp here at the school, do some fishing and many fun things. For our grade six, we do have a leadership camp uh, where we do leadership um, identification and that's one of their highlights. But the big, big highlight in our school career is the grade seven tour. That is for seven nights and eight days where we travel to Cape Town and where there's, there's just fun and games. We do learn a lot. Then I also need to add that community projects are near to our heart. This term, our head girl and head boy had a clothing drive and um, they've already delivered their little good goods. We've got a grade six girl that's starting cupcakes for cancer and the whole school's gonna bake cupcakes, buy and eat cupcakes so that we can support other people going through a difficult time. I don't know, I'm sure you must have seen on social media, we had a wonderful Heritage Day where our students were entertained with drumming, swimming, cupcake decorating, a, a marvellous fashion parade, and then, of course, a world-class concert. But before that, we had um, a fun week that our head leaders also arranged, and it was anything but school bags, funny shoes, and you couldn't wear your shoes to school, and a funky hair day. And then I need to tell you that's what makes our children love our school. They don't just work, they play a bit because after all parents, they do stay children. Thank you, Teacher Lila. 
Coach, I'm a little bit concerned because I think there's parents sitting there and wondering, why did you say you in alma mater for 12 years and you only in grade seven and Kani only seven years, so it's not because you failed. <laughs> Tell the people, when did you start at alma mater? I started at alma mater before I, the year, the day before I turned two years old. Mm -hmm. I started in the alma mater, if that's correct, yes. and went all the way up and I redid grade one because we, we, my family found out that I had, this, I was dyslexic and it benefited me so much to do grade one over and had such a, and I found a good trend group in grade, when I redid grade one. Great, wonderful, H, and so proud to say you're a head boy this year. Fantastic, thank you. And Kani, only seven years, so you started when? Then I started in grade one. And could you just tell us your dad in Afrikaans? What was his story about that? Oh, so basically my dad told me that I had to choose English over Afrikaans. And you know, me being the dramatic person that I am, I just had to tell him no. So I chose Afrikaans because I find it so fascinating to be able to relate with other people. You know, as parents, I believe that it is so, it is such an important thing for your kids to step out of the box and to be able to explore the diversity of many other languages. Thank you, Kani. And this is why it's also for you. Yes, Afrikaans to me. I guess boy, I'm blind at different times to myself. Afrikaans, so all that my heart is a clip, yes. So, parents, I truly believe there's questions maybe on your side. I don't know where you are from, where you're sitting currently. So, over to you and Louise. If there's any questions, we would like to assist and answer. Wonderful. Thank you so much for the panelists. I think that was uh, very, uh, the information was quite rich. I'm hoping that uh, we've got some more questions coming in. Just to prompt you, you are welcome to post those up in the Q&A box. Um, there was just a question, I think general question regarding school fees for next year when that will be published. I hope, I promised the parents that was here, definitely within the next two weeks, but hopefully by the end of this week. And everything will be posted on the school's website. But I can say to you as parents, if you have a look at the current school fees, 2022, it will be anything approximately between 6 and 8% increase. But it will be a very detailed schedule that you can read through. Obviously, options of prepayments uh, with discounts, etc., or monthly or termly. So just have a look at the website. And then I'm sure if you are interested, just contact the admissions department as well, and they'll forward it to you ASAP. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And then just uh, another question here, how the Cambridge phases are introduced in the primary school? I don't want to answer everything, but um, maybe I should just start off, and then I think it, it continues as we go by. So in the um, pre-primary school, we start in the middle of grade R with stage one. And then they go over to the junior primary phase. Almeria and then Yuna can maybe say your phases there, grade one, two, three, or stages of Cambridge that you do there. Yeah, stage two, three, uh, one, two, and three. And um, we don't stop there. We are in co contact with each other all the time. And as we see fit, uh, when the kids have done their stage, uh, we carry on to the uh, next one. And then teacher Vina, maybe then? Yes, that. in grade four, we've got four, five, six, and then seven and eight. Usually uh, at the end of grade seven, we already incorporate some of grade eight's work. You'll also see that we buy textbooks, and many times they use those textbooks even in um, phase eight, mm -hmm. seven and eight. So I think what you can hear then is in the seven years, or R of two, up to grade seven, we at least go up to stage eight which means that we definitely excel and then uh, before the children start writing their IGC fees when they go to high school. Thank you so much. And then uh, just a, a question on what cultural activities we offer. Okay, Lindy, can I ask you maybe to answer that one? Of and course. Then if, we, if we forget something, we'll just have No problem. Yeah. So Irina did mention it. So for cultural activities, we've got Chase. Um, I'm very passionate about our glee club, so they do singing and dancing. Um, we also have uh, scrapbooking, we have journalism, journalism of course, 
Um, so at this stage, the choir, we've got speaking. the choir and public speaking, which is not on a weekly basis, but the ones that I've mentioned is on a weekly basis. Um, our cultural days are usually on Mondays and Wednesdays. We have dancing, uh, they have uh, stories and rhymes, so all, all kinds of stories and rhymes um, over the cultural barriers. We have uh, stretching and relaxing, which they terribly need desperately. <laughs> uh, our public speaking as well, um, both languages usually, uh, once a year, but they do some speaking in class as well, and we do that on a monthly basis these speeches that they have to prepare. And then we alternate a concert or culture showcase. So one year it will be a concert, full-on concert or levy, and then the next year um, the showcase. So this year we had our Heritage Day function or festival where each grade had a specific country and it was dancing and you do speech choirs depending on the country that was yours for your grade. And then next year it will be the culture showcase. So there, over to the students, did we forget something? Did we do something more that we forgot about? Sure. In culture? Perfect, that's all the questions from the attendees. Um, thank you very much to the panelists for the information and I'll hand over to Lynn to end off the session. Thank you. Thank you very much. Parents, I think the most important thing is come and visit Alma Mater. Anytime, whenever it suits you, we really don't mind. Just make a phone call in advance, even if you're at the gate currently, uh, we'll really try and accommodate you, and but especially your child. Please be in contact, please come and visit, because if you haven't felt Alma Mater, you won't fall in love with Alma Mater. Thank you and have a lovely evening. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. I'll be ending off the session and the recording will be available on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much.